Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I am going to show how to export the data from ServiceNow to mid-server location. Before starting, let me explain in details what we are going to do. Okay. We have ServiceNow instance. From ServiceNow, we are sending the data to mid-server location, like uh, instance data, or problem data or anything okay for example i want to store incident data into mid server location as an excel file so how to do this so to achieve this we are using export set let's see how to configure this export set log into your personal instance or customer instance in filter navigator type export under system export set application, you can see that create export set, export sets, export definitions, all these things. Okay. So now click on create export set. Okay. Now we are going to create a new export set. Okay. A create new export set record is open. I mean, form is open. Okay. Name. You can give any name based upon your requirement or anything okay for example i want to uh, I, I want to store critical incident data into mid server location for example p1 data like uh, p1 incidents okay uh, is my file name okay or my export set name because i want to store p1 incident data into mid server location okay what to export Okay, what to export? Okay, if you already define an export definition, no need to, uh, you can click on S. If you don't define, click on No. Okay, which table data you want to send? Like P1 incident, right? So I want to send incident data. Okay, incident. Where to export? So which location you need to export? You need to give the mid server location. Which mid server location you need to export the data? For example, um, select mid server. Uh, this is my mid server. Okay, this is my mid server location. Okay, file path. Where you need to store? I mean, uh, do you have any file path, or you can create the file path? For example, I will create a P1 incident. Is the my folder name okay file path uh, p1 incident is a folder name it will create a p1 incident as a folder in mid server location under this folder you will get the particular p1 incident reports okay click on submit once you submit uh, the export set uh, record is open okay so you can see the name file name it will be like p1 incident.csv but i don't want in csv format i i need in excel format okay you can choose okay depends upon you like xml or json or csv excel xls whatever okay for example i will send as format as excel okay column headers uh in the excel what what will the column headers okay user field label is my column header or you can use user field name okay i don't want to use field name i want only field label okay values how you want to display the values you need uh, i will use display value okay use raw value but if you use raw value it will come as sysids also okay for the reference field it will come as sysid so i don't want the raw value i want to only use display value Okay, uh, what to export? Export definition is already created. Okay, like P1 incident. Okay, uh, underscore incident. Okay, so open this um, record. Open this record. And here, okay, go back here. I will save it. First, I will save it. Okay, here. Uh, this export definition is uh, open and here the name okay you can change the name if you want okay the table incident and the fields in the excel uh, like what are the fields you want you can select it okay if you want a stop fields uh, you can select from the left side okay and you can close it so 
uh, I don't want to send all the data. I want to send, uh, you can add filter condition also because I am uh, sending only the P1, like a priority is critical. Okay. So before saving it, you can review it. You can preview the records. Uh, if there are any records or not, okay. So yes, we have the P1 records and it is like 27 records it is there and update. Okay. Close it, okay. Now go back to previous screen and where to export, okay. It is already created, export target is like mid server, okay. So open this record. Open this record. Uh, and the mid server is uh, which mid server you need. So we already discussed. Okay, what is the file path? If you want to give description, you can give the description. Okay, before sending this, uh, make sure uh, the mid server is up and it is connected successfully. Okay, let's test it. Test connection. Okay. Okay, yeah, connected successfully. Okay, close this file. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to create a schedule export because uh, when you want to send this data to the server location, okay, you need to create some schedule. We click on new record. Okay, let me name like, okay, I will name as P1 incidents only. Okay, export set. What is the export set? P1 incident. Okay, run as you know everything, I think. Uh, when you want to daily, weekly, monthly, I want daily at 1 a.m. I want to run as daily. Okay, scripts. Like if you want to execute a pre export script or a execute post export script, it depends upon your requirement, you can create it. Okay. Delta exports. Okay. If you uh, if you enable this one, what will happen? It will not send the previous uh, data, it will send the latest data, depends upon the updated value. Okay, for example, if you have uh, 27 records, okay, P1 incidents, out of 27 records, only mm, new records are created, okay. For example, uh, at 1 a.m. I send the uh, file, okay, 27 file in the server location. After the next day, uh, what happens, those 27 records are there, and uh, there are extra like um, three records are created and three records are updated, okay? But it will not send all the data if you check enable Delta Expo. It will send only the updated record or created records only, okay? Delta on or after when updated, okay? Which field you need to update it, okay? Based upon the last export schedule run, it will run, okay? So save it. So uh, this scheduled job will run at 1 a.m. daily at the morning. But for testing, we can click on execute now. Okay, let's see uh, our file is before executing. Okay, um, go to our um, uh, go to the uh, mid server location. Okay, uh, let me log in. Okay, go to the uh, mid server location. For example, uh, the install in which folder you install the mid server, okay, particular mid server, you need to go to that location. I have installed under service now, dev950 here under agent, you have called export. Okay. Uh, click on export so you don't have any folder like p1 incident or p1 okay uh, so let's go back again okay to local c folder and now go to our uh, service now instance and click on execute now okay executed wait for two minutes and um, uh, go to your mid server location Click on service now again. Dev again agent under export. See now it is created like P1 incident folder. 
under P1 incident, you have P1 incident actualized file. Okay, so uh, you can send the data from service now to mid server location, whatever the data it is required in Excel, CSV, or XML or JSON format to mid server location. Okay. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.